Custom exhaust work is part of building high performance trucks and cars, and it just happens to be my favorite part of the job. Now, a lot of times a performance exhaust system is more than just two pipes running from the manifolds to the tailpipes. Oftentimes you'll need some sort of a two into one merge, like a Y pipe or an X pipe or an H pipe for performance reasons. It balances the flow from the left to the right cylinder banks. Now, a lot of times you can actually buy a part off the shelf that works for your application. This is an X pipe for an old muscle car setup, and this is just a Y pipe you can buy that fits almost anything, except four inches probably for a diesel. Now, a lot of times, like I said, you can't buy something that's exactly Exactly what you need. Maybe you have an engine swap or maybe you have long tube headers in place of exhaust manifolds. If you do any sort of custom exhaust work, you definitely have access to some sort of a welder. So I'm going to show you how to take that welder along with some pipe you probably have already laying around the shop and build your own custom exhaust crossovers. That means it'll save you a trip to the muffler shop, which definitely puts more money in your pocket. And we're going to start with a Y pipe. Let's say you have a V6 or maybe even a V8 swapped mini truck. Now obviously you have two banks of exhaust to deal with, but for space reasons it would be much simpler to run a single pipe. Now you could just tee the two pipes together, but that's really not the best in terms of performance. So instead I'm going to take these two 45 degree mandrel bands, join them together. I'm going to have a single 3 inch pipe for the remainder of the exhaust. This will be perfect for a mid 350 to 450 horsepower application. We'll get started by making some cuts. I'm using a fence to make sure the cuts are nice and straight, but the real trick to cutting tube on a curve like this is to use slow, steady pressure. If you force the material through the bandsaw, the blade can walk around and you'll have crooked cuts. With the cuts made, we'll clean up the edges and wipe off any contaminants. Line up the two pieces with the cuts facing each other. Then, tack weld them together. Next, take a short 3 inch diameter pipe and squish it in the vise and make an oval whose short length is 2 and a half inches. Mark the tip of the merge and cut it off using a square. Then weld it together, finishing your Y pipe. We built this custom Y pipe in about an hour using only basic fabrication tools. Now this would be a great project to learn if you're a beginner welder. Now an X pipe isn't really that much more difficult. I just took two 90 degree bends and cut the backs off of them so they can butt perfectly together. Not only will building custom exhaust parts save you money, but it gives you the satisfaction of doing it yourself.